Hi, this is Nicolo Hay. Today I want to talk about partnerships. Not, not that type of partnership. I want to talk about YouTube partnerships. So, what's prompting this seemingly random video? Well, I've recently been reading about the difficulties that Ray William Johnson is having with Maker Studios. I'll pop all the links below so you can kind of read up on all the bits and pieces that are happening. So first of all, what is a YouTube partnership? I'm going to read this straight off the YouTube website. The YouTube Partner Program features dozens of programs to help you amplify your YouTube experience. Whether you want to share videos with your friends or build a new YouTube career, the programs are tailored to help you improve your skills, build your audience and earn money by monetizing your content. That normally never happens. <laughs> so as far as I can see, being a fully fledged partner only really allows you extra features and support. However, this is just the partnership offered by YouTube and, and Google. A lot of newer YouTubers recently seem to be signing up to third party partnerships. And this kind of excites me and scares me at the same time. It excites me because a lot of YouTubers are able to gain access to those extra features a lot quicker. And third party partnerships also seem to have a bigger built in community and they offer greater support. But it scares me at the same time because those YouTubers are signing their account over to the companies. Now companies in their very nature are there to make profit. That's fine, that's normal, we, we don't have an issue with that. Problems usually tend to occur when, just like a girlfriend or a boyfriend, you, you don't really tend to see how nasty they can be until you decide to leave or move on. Now, in Ray's case, and this is a very simple breakdown of the situation, Ray had signed his channel over to Maker Studios. After around a year, Maker Studios wanted to renegotiate that initial contract. For whatever reason, Ray refused, and now they're stuck in this very public fallout with neither side really pulling any punches. <laughs> Now Ray William Johnson and Maker Studios is a bit of an extreme example. My concern is that this could happen to me, it could happen to my friends on YouTube and you know, it could happen to you. All I'm asking really is that if you're considering signing up to a partnership with a third party, then first of all discuss it with your friends, family, colleagues, anyone you can really that will have a decent input and, and you know help guide you through that, through that situation. <laughs> uh, take time to think about it, um, don't just rush into it, but the most important thing you can do, and I cannot stress this enough, <laughs> is to make sure you read that contract and go through it with a fine tooth comb. If you can afford it, go to a legal advisor and get them to, to okay the contract and to answer any questions that you have relating to if that contract breaks down and, and what kind of situation you may find yourself in. If for any reason you have any concerns at all, contact that third party company that you're looking to sign with for, for the partnership. Any reputable, decent company will never shy away from your questions, no matter what they are really. So if you do have any concerns, talk to everyone you can and then go to that company, depending on what answers they give will depend on what actions you take, but just make sure you, you look after yourself in that situation. Now the reason I'm post- Fuck's sake. Now the reason I'm posting this is because I've been approached by a couple of third parties offering me a partnership. I haven't really turned them down, but I haven't replied to them. Um, after doing some research, I didn't really see what they could offer me that I couldn't really do for myself. The extra features that they could offer me, I will eventually get through YouTube and Google anyway. I mean, the big draw is that they have their own community centered around their company and the other partnerships they have with other YouTubers. So in closing, the, the main aim of companies is to make a profit. Keep that in mind when you're or considering taking up a partnership. One of the main things you need to know and one of the main things you need to remember is that they need you more than you need them. So now I'd like to open this up to a discussion. These are just my views and opinions on this matter. Ah. <laughs> Am I right about third party partnerships in general? Should I have my concerns and reservation? If you're already signed up to one of these third parties, what's your experience been like of the partnership so far? Have you had any experiences where perhaps it hasn't gone as you, you expected? Anyway, let me know in the box below. I'm looking forward to the discussion opening up around this, mainly because I, I don't know what to do.